Good afternoon. It has been a long running problem. Police not knowing the history of families when they're dealing with child abuse cases. Now they have some help when they are in the middle of what can be a life or death situation for children. News 13 Stephanie Chavez is live at APD headquarters to explain. Kim, all APD officers responding to a call will now have access to a portal so they know if CYFD has ever been involved with the family. Now, this portal was unveiled in 2017, but training just began in April. This is something state officials say is a long time coming. Common sense isn't always common practice. And unfortunately, over the last eight years, the common practice wasn't in place. Now, this technology has been in the works since the kicking death of Omar, Omari Varela in 2013 revealed a lack of communication between the two agencies. When police responded to a call at the home before Omari was killed, they were unaware of the previous CYFD investigations into the family. Now, city and state officials say they're hoping this new software will help prevent any future tra tragedies from happening. We also don't want to continually expose that child to additional trauma through additional questioning, through additional interviews or, or any type of additional prying that might be already available through technology or his, historical looking. Now, previous programs intended for this purpose were made for desktop only, making it impossible for field officers to access it on their laptop in their patrol unit. Now, News 13 asked why it's taken six years for the unveiling of a software like this. They said it was a lack of collaboration and funding. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, since officers began training on the portal in April, CYFT has already seen more than 25,000 searches from APD related to investigations. Right now, CYFD is working on making this portal available for all law enforcement agencies across the state.